so I am going to pull up my theater's websites and I'm going to talk about um, my experience with theaters being open. Um, now, keep in mind, um, this is in the state of California. I'm not going to say more than that. That's where the, my am located and that is where um, I'm going to be discussing my experience with going back to the theater. Um, so let's start with my main theater I go to, Studio Movie Grill. So my theaters have been open about three weeks. Um, and I will say, uh, I've noticed Studio Movie Grill is, that is my favorite theater to go to, um, just because it is very convenient. Um, ticket prices are usually the cheapest there. And uh, it's just a very easy to go to theater for that reason. And so I really appreciate them a lot and what they do. Um, the only thing I've had issues with... Where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? <laughs> give, give me a moment. <laughs> Sorry about that. Got my mouse, got my drink. Uh, I'm gonna be talking for a minute. So let's show you what I'm dealing with with Studio Movie Grill. So the one thing I've noticed with Studio Movie Grill is um, their prices are a lot more expensive. Um, and that, okay, well I wouldn't say a lot more expensive. Uh, what I've noticed is they used to do five dollar Tuesdays and now that has become an only uh, if you're a membership, which if you're if you join their membership thing, which I haven't done that yet, I, I should look into that. Probably is a lot cheaper, but um, that's all the time you get five dollar tickets, not just on Tuesdays. But there is no more five dollar Tuesdays for just general audiences, and it went and the ticket prices went up for seven fifty to eight dollars, which um, people always say movies tickets are getting too expensive. I will say that's bull crap because if you look at why those things go up, it is not bull crap, but they, they are going up in price to make up for the cost that they're losing. And with this COVID thing, of course they had to go up again. So if your area, if the ticket prices seem very high, well that's because not enough people are going. And yeah, I agree, it should be a little bit more affordable, but unfortunately we don't live in a time where enough movie goers are going to a theater where it can be affordable like it was, and that's the unfortunate thing. So we have here um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine movies. Nine movies, uh, actually, sorry, ten movies. Now, um, last year my theaters opened up twice. One of the times they opened, they were only showing classic movies. And they were at reasonable prices, like five bucks. But that was a pretty um, bad, like, kind of thing. Like, you're only showing classic movies. And then when they did open, they were showing more newer movies. But it wasn't a good selection of newer movies. Not to say there wasn't anything good out, but it was like, after I saw... The movie I wanted to see that week, there was nothing else. And I mean literally nothing. This is a good balance here. So first off, we got Godzilla vs. King Kong, which of course is nice that you have the option to go watch this in a theater and at home. Uh, this movie I, uh, made close to 200 mil uh, worldwide. is like 140 million, I believe. Uh, 50 million, something like that. Opening weekend worldwide, which is a good opening for a theater. Not... In terms of a pandemic sense, but um, we have nobody, which I've heard things about, but I haven't seen it. Ray and the Last Dragon, you know, that's again good to know that you have the option. Um, I hope my theaters are still open in May when Corella comes out because when Corella comes out, 
I'm not paying the $30. And if I if I can see it in the theater, then I'll do a review. Otherwise, I'm waiting until it's free on Disney+. Plus. That's just how I feel about that. But yeah, Rhea. Unholy, which I haven't seen that. Don't really have any interest in that. Same thing with Voyagers. I, did, I have a review for Rhea, King Kong, and uh, Tom and Jerry. You know, I saw Tom and Jerry. Minari, which is great. Um, the only thing I'm really interested to see why this is, um, I think they have a problem with certain movies that have been out for a long time. Like Minari was playing, started playing in most theaters uh, back in February. And, you know, obviously my theaters weren't open in February. They opened back up back in March. Cool. But this should have been one of the first movies they were showing. And it wasn't one of the first movies they were showing, which was a little odd. Of course, they got Chaos Walking. Can have reviews for that. Dutch, which I haven't seen. Uh, the Marksman, which I watched, and I have a review for that. So that's like a good variety of movies. You know, these are all different movies. Uh, they're all different audiences. Now... I am going to talk about what the uh, the days are like. I've been on multiple days. I've been on just random weekdays. I've been on the weekend. Weekend is pretty packed as always. That's what I expect. Like that's, you know, packed. Um, seats are pretty easy to get for the most part. You do have to buy ahead of time because of limited capacity. But I think... Um, I've had a couple close calls with that and it's been okay. Like you can at least, if you just need like a couple seats, it's been okay. But I think if you're going with a group of people uh, to the theater, you should buy ahead of time. And um, so I like the variety here. Now, uh, what's interesting, I, I've been there on Mondays. I've been there on Tuesdays. I've been there on Wednesdays. A um, couple times to see movies. A couple times I just walked in the door to buy a ticket and it has been pretty packed in there there's normal weekdays like there have been a lot of people in there they're all seeing movies um i noticed that some of the theater play, are not playing movies which tells me that they are probably having an issue maybe they don't have enough uh money to uh, pay for other uh movies or they're having an issue with uh, not having enough employees because they can't afford it or whatever um, which is unfortunate. But, um, yeah, so a lot of that is a big deal um, with this. Uh, I think that's... So what I am seeing, though, is I'm not seeing families. Now, we have a couple family movies here. Raya, Tom and Jerry. And, it, you know, even though I wouldn't consider Godzilla vs. King Kong a family movie, I am seeing families, you know, who, like, take their kids to PG-13 movies like that. But you, But these two are the main family movies, right? And I think people are not who have children are not going out to the theater. I have not seen a single kid in the theater. I've been back six times since theaters have opened in uh, March. And it's only been open three weeks. I've been back six times. So that's, that's the, what's going on with that. And I think that is really um, something to take notice of. I think that... You know, that's a big deal. I also noticed that with Studio Movie Grill, and I saw this with the Maya too, which we'll go over them in a minute, they are taking things off the menu, and that means probably they don't have enough chefs, and they also can't afford maybe their deals with uh, like companies who supply them with food and things like that to make this stuff. Um, you know, I, th I heard one of the employees say they're trying to add more back to the menu, but it's going to take a while. And I think a lot of that was they didn't have enough employees at the time. So I think that's a big sign. Um, so, you know, we're seeing things kind of progress in a positive way. But I think it's still very iffy, iffy. Um, and then, you know, you know, we check, we check Saturday. And we check how many or new releases. You know, this week we got Mortal Kombat, which comes out on HBO Max. Which I'll be watching that on HBO Max. Uh, I bought, you know, tickets to the dub of Demon Slayer. So, they have about two new releases a week, which isn't that many. But I think it, it's really the best they can do. Um, sometimes they'll have three. But it's really the best you can do because it is very, very hard to get new movies in uh, to these theaters because, you know, 
these big studios are saying, well, I, I'm not going to release my $200 million movie in a time where it's uncertain to release it. And so they're looking at that and saying, no, no, we do not want to do that. And so they're not sure what to do. So, of course, they're going to release certain movies. Um, and we are seeing, I did see with the Demon Slayer movie. Uh, what's interesting about that is they had a couple show times, just two. They sold out immediately and they added more show times. So I think this film is going to be successful. I think it might be one of the most successful anime films in America. I know um, the My Hero movie, when that came out a, a year or two ago, uh, that did really well. And, uh, you know, I think that one's going to be good. And we saw that, um, we saw stuff like that was doing well. And so I think that is going to be interesting. And also there's a lot of hype uh, for this movie because this movie did release in Japan. And there was a lot of excitement. It became the highest grossing Japanese film, which is interesting because, uh, you know, that, this is during a pandemic. I think before that was like no, Your Name. And before Your Name, it was... Um, spirited away so and i think before that was like titanic was the highest grossing anime f or not anime film but just japanese uh highest grossing movie in japanese theaters of all time so yeah i think that's kind of something to look at there but i think this is a uh good sign this is another one i think that's going to hit hard we will see about mortal kombat i think it's going to do good but i don't know if that's going to be in the theaters or on hbo max i think it's more than likely on HBO Max. I think that's true. But I am really seeing. I am seeing a lot of single people. People who are like. I have a girlfriend whatever. People who live alone. Those people are going back to the theaters. Again I'm not seeing a lot of families. And if I look at this list of movies here. I'm really only seeing. A couple movies that. Um, you know. Families could go see. Like Tom and Jerry and Rhea. You know maybe Godzilla vs. King Kong. But you know. For the most part, these are the main two family movies. We're seeing less and less of that, and I don't think that there's less of to come out. I think the problem is that they just aren't the ones going back to the theater. Even the one audiences I saw seeing these movies were older people, which I wouldn't expect for Tom and Jerry and Rhea, but I think that's what I was seeing. And I think those ones are going to be fast to remove from the theater. Um, so let's, ch let's check out the Maya Theater. Um, that's my theater, Maya. So this one is um, another theater here. So let's, yes, I want to do that. Yep, that's that's the town. Um, so let's look at what they're playing tomorrow, just for example here. So what I do like about my theater is they are playing lots of films that are older films and they are playing like good stuff. Uh, one of the ones I saw was How to Kill a Mockingbird. Um, they're showing Gone with the Winds this week. Uh, I think the week before Kill a Mockingbird, they showed Ben-Hur and they showed another one before that. I can't remember what it was. We are seeing Godzilla vs. King Kong, Tom and Jerry, um, SSA, Red Notice. Don't know anything about that. A Girl Who Believes in Miracles, which is some Christian movie, so nothing worth paying attention to there. Voyagers, Chaos Walking, Nobody, Unholy Rhea, In, in the Earth, and the and the the Cordular. Uh, but um, yeah, we are seeing a little bit more movies. I think there's only like th four more movies here. Amaya is a larger theater chain. Uh, with larger screens and more uh, seats and things like that. They are a bigger theater, so they can support to do more. Now, I don't live in this area. We go over there for certain movies that are only playing at that theater. And also, they're a nicer theater, so it's kind of like a treat to go out there. Um, so, I don't get out there often, but what I have seen there, there's been crowds, there's been lines, uh, people have been there. And they're seeing movies. So I I don't know if it's as packed as, say, Studio Movie Girl. Because I go there more often. But I am seeing that there, there is a good response to this here. Um, these are the main two theaters that are open. Um, I haven't been to the other one. So I can't. I don't really want to speak on their behalf. But this is a kind of what has been happening with theaters being reopened in my area. 
I thought I would make a video kind of talking about it and see what responses and things you're noticing. Like, if you've been back to the theater, have you noticed any families showing up? Like, what audiences are you showing up? Um, how many people do you know are uh, responding to this? You know, things like that. So, yeah, um, I just, you know, all things to pay attention to. Let me know what you guys think about all this. Like, share, and subscribe. Do that. And I'll see you guys next time.